Here we go. All right. For my next one, I decided to go to a more powerful explosive because I wasn't very satisfied with the other one. This is just methanol. I'm making a fuel air explosive. This is the poor man's atom bomb. Okay. I've got, so that's enough for a good explosion in there. I'll put the cork in here. And then I just want to mix this up. Okay. That's pretty good. Oh, we put the cork right there. That's why I didn't see it. Okay. I knew Duggan didn't get rid of the cork. Okay. And uh, I think what I'll do is I'll aim this at the screen there. Okay, now Taylor might ricochet off that screen and hit you, so you need to like... <laughs> this one's not so loud, it's more like ricochet danger, you know? <laughs> now, oh, to ignite the methanol, I've got a couple nails inside there, and I'm going to hit those with a Tesla coil, and it's, they're going to spark between them, right? Yeah. Now these nails have never come loose, so I think we're pretty safe, aren't we? <laughs> Oh my God. Okay. So this is a high voltage. Okay, okay, I hear you guys. You guys are like, I'm nervous about those nails. So we'll just kind of stick these guys there. That'll stop the nails, anything? Yeah. Now, as Duggan says, we'll have no comments on, as Duggan always has the funny things to say, we'll have no comments on the shape of this, the noise that it makes, or the fact that it's plugged in. Okay. This is like my consequence for the fifth party, right? Ah! Ah! Thank you. Okay, are we ready? Wow, Betty! Yeah! Oh, it almost hit her. I mean, she's not there anymore. Woo! Is it off? That's great. It like, I knew it would go that way. Is it okay? Now, did you see the cart recoiled? Yeah, there's like momentum. We're trying to learn about momentum here. I just want, I want to make sure we learn a little bit, right? So this thing goes this way. That thing goes that way. Does it matter what happens to this as far as this goes? Does it matter that it hit a screen? Is it pushing off that screen? Or is it just simply pushing off this? Just this. The only way this thing could help it is if it bounced off the screen and like drilled it again. Like that one YouTube video of the guy like ricocheting and the thing comes back and like whacks him in the eyeglasses or something. You ever seen that? He's like shooting at some target and the bullet oh, comes back yeah, and like, yeah, yeah, whack, oh. <laughs> All right, a little applause for this guy. All right. All right. Okay, now we have... Now we have the Murray. This is the XZ, XZJ. Which one are we on now? 700? That doesn't say on there. Okay. I decided to finally just buckle up and you know, be a man and purchase actual rocket engines for my car. Okay? And so uh, I went out and bought the finest rocket engines you can purchase at Michael's. I was for a moment the only man in Michael's with a smile on my face. Sometimes there are other men at Michael's, but they are never smiling. They're always with their wife going, they don't have to go in. right? Okay. I was there though <laughs> buying rocket engines and that always makes me smile. Okay. And I'm going to use, I have an electric igniter. So this is like a match head type of stuff and it's hooked to some wires and when I run electricity through it, the wires are going to get red hot and it's going to light that on fire, which will light our rocket fuel on fire and this will become a very nice little fiery rocket type thing. All right. And this is our holder. Whoops. Got to get it the right way. And we will hold the rocket in there securely with tape. Now, of course, we don't need to worry about the rocket going that way because it's going to be pushing the car this way, won't it? Yeah? I think we're pretty good. Okay, and then finally, <laughs> if 
Finally. <laughs> Finally. I may accidentally tape some firecrackers to the front of the car. And this is not for any educational purpose whatsoever. Alrighty, yeah. Okay. I need uh, you to carry this out there. I need you to carry this out there. Okay, I need somebody who can uncoil a power cord without tangling it. Plug it into the wall. There we go. That would be Natalie. Okay, so when we go out there, as soon as we go around the corner, there's a wall outlet just right around the corner, and we're going to go out in the little gantry way. And then we need uh, we need somebody we need somebody to be the camera person. Is this camera here? All right. Who will be the camera person? That's you. All right. It's already recording. Don't hit stop. Just hold it. It's recording us all the time. Be careful what you say. Don't say things like, this is the most boring class I've ever had. Yes, it is. Oh, look, it has a box around your face. Let's go. Scamper out. I'm recording. Yeah. You know? Oh, yes. you. Hello. Get the car. Oh, yeah, it's really recording. It's been recording for like 50 minutes. <laughs> I don't see how he doesn't run out of space. Oh, because it has five hours on it. <laughs> we could record for another five hours. It's going to be great. Oh, it's cold. This is awesome. All right. Here we go. Oh, yeah, Janelle. Yes. Yeah. They like hit the wall. Don't give it away. All right, here. Welcome to the XCJ500 testing facility. The XCJ500 is perfectly safe. Do not stand directly behind the XCJ500. <laughs> All personnel wearing flammable clothing should stand well within the green zone. No people wearing Class 1A non-inflammable, non-toxic suits should stand outside of the exclusion zone. Uh, we have primary ignition. Uh, right, well, part nine uh, we have uh, <laughs> possible secondary ignition. We are sitting in my own part nine Primary ignition, standing by. Uh, secondary ignition, in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 